Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, the arena of the supernatural, where supernatural is natural. Our vision is to bring Christ's abundant life, knowledge, and hope to Inanda, then to the whole world, in the form of preaching, teaching, holistic gospel, healing, deliverance, counseling, training, and discipleship. Here we go. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, Jesus is Lord. That single belief calls us together as a community and sends us into our world with hope and purpose. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, your past will never define your future. There is always redemption, which means there is always a brighter day. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we do not think that we are better than any other church out there. We are just doing our best to become our best. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we want you to believe in God, but also we want you to know that God believes in you. We are not against any people who do not attend church anywhere. Instead, we pursue them with love, the very same love that is pursuing us. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are committed to serve God and people. We take ownership and account for our decisions, answerable or accountable as for something within one's power. We do what we say we will do. We are learning to serve God with all our hearts and we are learning to worship Him with all our lives. And if you are looking for the perfect church, we are not it. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will make mistakes, but we will choose to grow from them. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are part of a global community that is knit together by the resurrection of Jesus. And by the way, at Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we believe that really happened too. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will engage with people who are in real need because we are the hands and feet of Christ. And finally, we need you to hear this loud and clear. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, it's not our church at all, but it is His and we live and move and breathe in His church for His glory and fame and not for ours. So there's the invitation. You are invited to jump in with your whole heart at your own pace and experience the life that awaits you in Christ. Friends, this is going to be good. Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries from Dr. Swanem Somi and Tabisilam Somi. That we are everything that we think we know, we surrender. Have your way, Jesus. You are holy, you are beautiful, you are righteous. No other God is above you. Have your way, Jesus. Ha 
you to make your body prophesy whatever you want to do before him do it I want you to be free in him through him whatever you want to do do it holy 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 Holy, holy, holy. Alexander to corner this morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Are you excited this morning? It's yeah. And so the other neighbor say, yeah. 
Hallelujah. I'm so excited today. Wow. We welcome those who are listening on How Radio. And also on Car Radio. And uh, those who are watching, by the way, of uh, Facebook and YouTube. We love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. As we are here at Mount Zion Carnation, we give, we give God the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you say this one more time? The Lord is good all the time. The Lord is good and all the time. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Ben and the worshippers. Television and the audio team. Television and audio team. And all the media. media. Ushers and uh, worship and um, securities. security. Thank you, everyone. And also greetings to pastors. And to my queen, Bagi. Praise the Lord. Yeah, our God is a great God. Eh? And the days I'm are going very to few. Zambia on Wednesday. I'm going to Zambia on Wednesday. Thank you for your love and support. Your love and support. Clap hands for yourself. I'm going to tell them that I'm from Mount Zion Carnation. There is no church as this. And I'm telling you, God is opening doors in an unprecedented way. And I think we are going to see God this year in a way that we have never seen him before. I understand why the enemy is fighting this. And because something is born. It's a new era. It's a new era. Which we have never seen. Uh, it's something that will revolutionize our generation. It's something that's going to change our generation and they're going to see the answer. I believe the supernatural and the natural has occupied one arena. Do you understand? Do you understand that? When the supernatural is here and the natural is here, that's why I'm preaching about the world is going to wear out. Like a garment. It's because I want you to understand anything is possible. Where we are right now, we are walking under open heaven. Whilst, whilst we are walking under open heaven, we are walking through hell. So it's where God's power is going to be revealed. You will see a centenaire becoming a multimillionaire. Somebody. It has been proven at this time. Somebody unknown. Like Gogo G65. Out of nowhere. To be everywhere. Suddenly disappear. That means the world that we are living in. You can be given an opportunity to be influential in a way that you have never done it before. Soon and disappear. You can trend for one week and be gone forever. 
In that one week, you can touch millions of lives. So in other words, you need to get ready because the God Almighty is the orchestrator of everything. You see, when God says, when the Bible says, he prepares a table. He prepares a table before you, before your enemy. He is the one who does the preparation. What you need to do is to prepare yourself to get into the table because he has already prepared the table. You see right now, as I'm speaking, he prepared the table. As he prepares the table, we need to prepare ourselves. Nobody will prepare you unless you prepare yourself. The Lord is busy with the table. It's none of your business. It is his business. You can trend for a week. Without you preparing for the trending. Talk, whatever. Am I speaking to somebody? In other words, prepare yourself. Because the Lord has set the table. He has set the platform. Where it's going to give unto the world. You see, as I'm going to Zambia, there's a table that is dead. That is why I have said to you, pray for wisdom. Ask God to give you wisdom. Solomon said, give me wisdom to enter and go out among your people. Because if God is going to give you a position, you must have a wisdom. Because if you enter into that, into that position, in that famous, in that opportunity, that opportunity, you can take yourself out by not being wise. Today, a person can be a millionaire and become a millionaire without working hard, just playing, just playing, then a multi-millionaire while others are working and then not doing that. You just play because the time we are at. It requires people who will be ready. People who will prepare themselves. Let me ask you. Is something that is oh, to to you, that you get an opportunity. To to you get an opportunity. For a yet you are not ready for that opportunity. I'm gonna explain this. There is something that is so painful to to that you get an opportunity. Yet you are not ready for, for that particular opportunity. Then you will do it as while the opportunity is for you. Then you will bubble. Bubble. Then they will say, advertise yourself. When you are given this opportunity, you know what can you do? Then you will just mumble. So then they will say, we don't trust you. Then the opportunity will be passed on to somebody. Why? It's because you did not prepare yourself. There is nothing painful as that. That you are given an opportunity, yet you are not given it in a proper manner. Today it's like God, there is somebody that is going to prepare for. There is somebody who is going to be prepared for. There is somebody who is going to be prepared for. That I require him to prepare himself. Who will prepare himself. Just look at David. He was standing and prepares himself. He is preparing himself by 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 killing, by killing the lion. Do you hear me? He is killing the bear. He is killing the lion. He is striking the bear. Then he eats them. As he was striking the bear, he was not just striking the bear. He was striking the bear. Yet on the level, he was at. Yet in the opportunity, he was at. 
because when we are given an opportunity we just complain we just look to things that uh, are not it does not matter are you getting in church do you hear me so we need when the time is right when you need to prepare yourself actually every time is right you need to prepare yourself when you prepare yourself you focus on what is at your disposal you use what you have to train yourself you use the strength you have to train yourself you use your environment to train yourself you use your situation to train yourself you use people around you to train yourself because there is a bigger opportunity that is coming if you are not faithful on the time where you are on the situation who you are on the environment where you are in the vicinity where you are you will not get to a upper level because you will be promoted from what you've been preparing yourself for am I talking to right people you need to prepare yourself. When you are at Guamshas, prepare yourself there. When you are at Guamashu, prepare yourself there. When you are at Umshanga, prepare yourself there. Because another level is coming your way. There is an invitation that is being written right now. People, they need to get ready. People, they need to. De- uh, you will disqualify yourself by not preparing yourself. Always situation tells you what comes your way. Once or twice they are telling you. David, David, when you face the bear, the bear is a giant animal. It's a giant animal. Previously, he used to hit the beds, eating the beds. But this time around, comes an attack from the bush. It was not attacking him. It was attacking his flock. It didn't come to him. It came to his flock. Because there was another flock. Are you getting it? Let me repeat myself. I said the bear came against his flock. His father's flock. His father's flock. And the bear was not attacking him. The bear was attacking the flock. And he protected the flock and killed the bear. On the second time, on another month, came another giant, which was the lion, the king of a jungle. The king of a jungle. Because he has a flatin. So the lion came. It didn't attack him. He attacked the flock. And he protected the flock. And killed the lion. When he killed the lion. He was graduated. He was graduated. Oh my God. Are you understanding this? Are you getting this people of God? When he did Featured the bear, he got he got promoted. When he destroyed the bear, the lion, he was promoted. And the Lord said, "My son, he's ready to attend my flock." He has qualified himself to lead my flock. I'm looking for a shepherd who's going to shepherd my flock. They are scattered all over. I need a shepherd. A shepherd that will face the lion. A shepherd that will face that bear. A shepherd that that will face the devil. The the, the shepherd that will face the witches. Are you getting it? And uh, this 
shepherd which is called David he was on his post when God looked for one who is going to lead Israel after Saul disobeyed God when prophet Samuel came to his house to, 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 to to David's home. All his brothers were there. <laughs> Are you getting it? They were there. They were called one by one. Shama came. He was a huge guy. He was very promising. <laughs> there are many promising people. But who are disqualified. Then all his brothers, seven of them, they came and they stood there. And when he was supposed to anoint them, and the Spirit said the Lord, of the Lord said, Not this one. All of them. And the prophet began to ask, Are all these sons of yours? Is anyone left here? And the father said, Jesus said, No, there is another one that is on the field with my sheep. And said, Go and call for that one and see what the Lord will say. And they went and they fetch him. When they fetch him, he was on his post. He was on his post preparing himself alone with the duty that has been delegated to him. Are you faithful on what God has given you? Are you doing faithfully? I believe today God is telling me to tell you I'm preparing something big for you. Will you be ready? Will you be ready? Because I'm preparing something big for you. Are you ready for that? Listen to this. The man was on his post. The young man was on his post. <laughs> when he's still there, doing the work, doing the work, <laughs>